guys and welcome back to PCRT. Today we're going to be trying uh, glycerin or uh, glycol. And uh, basically this is just the stuff that they use for soaps and different things to act as uh, uh, a moisturizing agent. Sometimes it's used in cakes as both a sweetener and something to keep the cake uh, moist to stop it from drying out. I pre-mixed this because it's kind of a pain to actually, uh, well, mix it in the first place. So basically I pre-mixed it, uh, 4 grams potassium chloride, 2 grams uh, glycerin, and I put it in the fridge so that way it thickens up a little bit. Uh, I know, because I, I do believe it's uh, glycerin and potassium permanganate has a pretty violent reaction. So I imagine that uh, this is expected to have a violent reaction, but we will see. Uh, this was suggested by... Bracy Harvey again. So thank you very much for the suggestion. If you guys have your own suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Try and get out of here as much as I possibly can. I'm not going to be able to get all of it. Close enough. So this is approximately 4 grams potassium chloride to 2 grams of glycerin. In 3, 2, 1. Okay. Hey, stop. Sorry, my dog was scratching in the background. Okay, so is that all it's gonna do? Yeah, so it doesn't seem like it did too much. That's just the potassium chlorate left behind boiling away or decomposing. So yeah, that was uh, four grams potassium chlorite to uh, two grams of uh, glycerin. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you have your own suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys very much and bye. All right, so admittedly the, uh, the glycerin didn't work very well. My dad wanted to see bullion, which are uh, these bullion cubes, basically stock cubes to uh, fake uh, like chicken broth or beef broth. This specifically is chicken. So this is a chicken stock cube or bullion cube. And what happened is I accidentally made up too much. So this will be a double batch. So this is four grams of bullion cube, uh, this chicken cube. It's already pre-mixed to eight grams of potassium chloride. So we're just going to do a double batch here. So this is twice as big as a normal batch. Just keep that in mind when we uh, see how it reacts. All right, four grams bullion cube to eight grams potassium chlorate. In three, two, one. Not super reacting. Now these bullion cubes do have a certain amount of fat to them, and a lot and a lot of sodium. Lots and lots of sodium, which sodium itself, the sodium chloride, shouldn't be very reactive. Yeah, it is generating a fair bit of smoke. Huh. It's weird, it's a fairly unstable burn. But it did consistently, it looks like, burn all the way through. So you can see there's a lot of potassium chloride uh, left. And that's because apparently there wasn't enough fuel in that bullion cube to, uh, well, use up all of the, uh, the chloride as an oxidizer. So the cubes, in theory, won't have very much energy to them. And I do believe that if we look at the cubes, if we look at one of those cubes, they're only about five calories, which isn't much, especially when you compare it to something like straight up sugar. So I'm not too surprised that there's a lot of reactants left over. I hope you guys like me doing this little bit extra for you. Thank you guys very much for watching and bye.